A love for flowers. I was playing Jam Memories on stream and I was literally falling asleep. Oh, I see. Don't they smell heavenly? Miss Melia is a big fan of flowers? Yes, because of my mother. When I was young, she often asked for my help with the villa's flower beds. How about you, Nene? Nene also loved flowers very much. I see. Aww. We have something in common. Before, when I spoke of them to a Hans friend, she said flowers are nice, but nothing beats a warm dinner. I got no understanding from her. Finally, fate sent me someone I can communicate with. What Miss Melia say about dinner? Oh, just talking to myself. Dinner. Heart <laughs> wasn't really relevant. <laughs> but Nene, big fan of dinner too. Most of all, pollen orbs from factory in Frontier Village. They so very soft and so young. Nene is the one that's gonna like Look, cook. Not Hold on. Meme? When you said you love flowers, did you mean as a food stuff? Meh? There is meaning other than <laughs> I should have known. You're one of them. Nene, listen. She's a no fun. Simply special because they can be eaten. We can admire their beauty. Or use them to create ornaments and works of art. And that is a great part of their charm. Ornaments. Meme! Oh yes! Nene, remember! Long ago, Dada Pond made Mama Pond a flower crown for give us gift! Aww, that's so sweet! That, that no one has hidden depths. <clears throat> She's like, I can't believe it. <laughs> Like it if you also had an interest in inedible flowers. Are all of Nene's quiet moments about you dinner? <laughs> just like your mother in her own day. Maybe. You know the joy she felt. Okay, the next time Nene find flowers that cannot eat, Nene will make pretty flower crown for Miss Melia. Aww. Huh? To eyes and Nene, Miss Melia look most bestest in blue. What think? While I appreciate the offer greatly, Weren't you originally of the regarding flowers as food persuasion? Now her mind yeah. changed. If you make pollen orbs from not eatable flowers, they bitter and not tasty. Yes, a fair point. It is just as you say. So no one see different but equal value in flowers depending on whether they're edible. Maybe it was foolish in the first place. To try and choose only one while discounting the other. Well, I like how she dances. I will accept the sign of your affection. Nene, Roger that. And yet, why do it for me? Won't Kino and Shulk feel left out? There is very good reason. Nene, huh? I just want to see smiling face of Miss Melia. Oh, oh my. Poor Melia. <laughs> Something wrong? <laughs> Nene, not say anything weird? No, not at all. It was just how sincerely you said it. I should take a leaf out of your book. Me? Precious Nene, I look forward to the gift. Aww. Oh. That's so sweet of Nene. Awkward, or I the only one to wear one. Why don't we make them together and exchange them afterwards? Meme? That sounds wonder marvelicious. Is deal. No, in fact, is unbreakable promise. Yes, naturally. She she acts like she Nene is like is like a split personality between Ryan and Ricky. From what it seems like. That's nice. I wonder if we'll be able to you okay? cap recapture that capital. Miss Melly, what's wrong? Aww. Is tummy hurty? No, nothing like that. I'm just remembering what we heard at Companion's Cape. 
I have been mistaken in my thinking. The war is over and peace has been restored. We are rebuilding slowly but steadily. I'd thought that with peace came happiness. But she's not happy. Indeed, that even here, people would embrace it with open arms. But the reality is different. Mm. The wounds have not yet fully healed. Quite. Those who lost their home. Those seeking the light. I just Those read that message. Just... <laughs> the joy for them is still scarce. I thought only of me. <laughs> but you didn't. Not at all. The high end here at Colony 9. Actually, everyone who remained. You worked hard for them. You, Dunban, and Atharon led by example. Great, now I can't take this scene seriously. <laughs> yes, yes, keep on looking out. Oh. Kino! Kino! But still full of bones. Kino. Exactly. Before, Kino cried every day. Did not even want to go potty learn. Wait. Sis? What the, what the, why you bring that up? That's completely irrelevant to discussion. Lose if mama pun and... Data pod? To disagree. D -d 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 anyway, cannot abandon hope. Data pod's words. Hope. To become the hope of the high India is a fate that you choose for yourself. As long as you remember this, it is certain that you will be worthy of that name. You are the hope of the High Entia. You will not transform into a Telethia. Even after the Bionis has reawakened, you can still succeed the Imperial line. You have the power to end our suffering. The hope. Friends. Thank you. I think I can finally see now what my role here is. Aww. Onwards to Alchemoth. So, but you know, did Ricky actually die? Mama Pawn and Dada Pawn. But even with peace, there's racism. I read that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you can tell by looking at my face while that cutscene was on. <laughs> okay, what do you want? Can you come with us? Uh, a villain? <laughs> Oh my god, what is that? Is it called a palindrome? Or an anagram? There's tw there, there's 12 no pawn we have to find. This one's Evelyn. But if you rearrange the words, it's 11. <laughs> oh my god. Qualified, certified, but fully booked, so heads are tied. Prospector 11 is named, serving new lands is the game <laughs> I love that freaking love it yeah <laughs> do it <laughs> dear oh dear oh dear oh, friends have impeccable timing Evelyn in dire need of helping I assume from their expression that this matter bothers them Ricky is such a stand-up guy Taking on more debt. I mean, here upon responsibilities for another child. But then. <laughs> Kino also wants to have massive debt. Survey for a day was finished, so Evelyn make to sit down on sitting spot over yonder for a well deserved snack break. Was just removing tasty morsel from knapsack when all of a sudden, whoosh splash! Meal thing plopped straight into the lake. All gone in single eye wink, like tears standing under waterfall. 
Wapple, Wapple Sardian, like, scoffed on every last piece of hard dessert footage. <laughs> but no ugly fish, fishy fish incur wrath of Ev... Ev... Evelyn and live to swim about it. Sardi will rue day made enemy of Evelyn. <laughs> Friends, speak to Evelyn because felt urge to help Nopon in distress, right? Then please to avenge poor Evelyn. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go fight a fish like Ricky. <laughs> no, Mo, that's not an anagram. That's a Nopon, huh? Did you guys see that? The model of the fish clipped through. <laughs> meh, meh, meh. <laughs> oh, he's crying. <laughs> or she? Oh, day of joy. Evelyn was agog watching friends bish bash smelly fish brutes. <laughs> In fact, Evelyn feel a whole lot better now, although... No, it's no use. Tum Tum feels so empty. No energy even for Shimmy. But if friends able to bring Evelyn Marokov from where wherever about, <laughs> maybe able to kickstart metabolism. Metabolism. <laughs> Wait. Oh my God! Evelyn is dying from hunger. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, no! Okay, wait. I wanna kick it. <laughs> I wanna start a football gig and kick it. <laughs> oh no! Okay, I'm coming back. I got Maro Cub. Ah, uh, Maro Cubs! Munch, crunch, crunch, so it's tasty. Can feel life flowing back into limbsies. I can't. Frings, vehe, mash, The little is speaking in tongues, what a friend. Ooh, Evelyn, the wolf holding down, now is able time. Is about time Evelyn make haste to find one one. Kind of think of life all about helping each other. No, dread to think what happened if Evelyn collapsed on road alone. You just collapsed right in front of me. What difference does that make? Clearly, friends have obligation to assure Evelyn come no harm. So take with and deliver person safe to one one. So must say, make good survey progress today. Like in days of old chief. Who established pawn specters retired now. When one one step in to take man mantle, practically only ever do charity work for Frontier Village. No pawn specting at all. Evelyn nearly forgot was even pawn specter in first place. Okay, it's settled. Friends all ready to set off, then it is time to deliver results of survey to Chief One One. Yes, <laughs> we got it. Remember, folks, Melia has an art named Starlight Kick. <laughs> That's why I totally forgot. Starlight Kick, this no pawn. You know what? I might as well collect them all. They're cute. Also, I would love to have an army and no pawn following me. <laughs> I have to go to the other side, though. Oh, no. Ah! <laughs> Hold on. Move. Oh! Another one! Ah, uh, great. Ah! More! <laughs> There's a... <laughs> no! Qualified, certified, making world more purified. Pro Pond Spectre. Fafora is name. Surveying new lands is game. Oh, why are you surprised Fafora like that? Made Fafora recite whole pawn specter spiel and not and now survey in big shambles. How friends going to make up for eh? Uh hope not thinking can make teensy apology and just walk away. 
before I'm going to have to ask help with small matter, then let friend we'll let friends off proverbial fish hook. What? <laughs> Tell me in greater de- I don't get it! So friends will listen? Oh goody, Fofora and new friends were citizens of upstanding moral character. Small matter is nuisance. Kromar on other side of Zan Zian's thoroughfare, right hand side, they keep getting in way of Fofora. Fofora is still busy mapping out area, so would be giant help if friends could remove Kromar from picture, please. I like how Momo was completely abandoned. The main plot of this game now has become an ordinary pawn specter. <laughs> I have an army! I have two of them already! Do you not see? <laughs> oh no. I don't think I can fight them. At least not yet. Okay, I think. <gasps> oh! No! Okay, stupid Nobot. I just got here. It's doable. <laughs> it's doable. Okay, what are you looking at? Qualified, certified, bold, and center justified. Prospector FIFA, FIFA is name. Surveying new lands is game. Surveying... Pf FIFA take care of that ages ago. Now FIFA is busy with detailed breakdown of local ecosystems. <laughs> yeah, do this. Meh. Should be prioritizing actual work. But FIFA will be done soon. Only 52... Sp 50, <laughs> 52 species more to document. Uh, how about if friends can solve brain teasers of FIFA? FIFA will finish up research and resume duties. Riddles are like game and hobby rolled into co one complex analogy. Life too short not to play metagame. <laughs> metagame! <laughs> Listen well, Fifa need the thing as follow. I drift, I dig, I not so big. I sink, I rise, but where are my eyes? Huh? Collect an item that drifts and digs but has no eyes. Okay... A car? <laughs> Wait... Drifts and digs. Wait, it's not a car. <laughs> the land in the sky. <clears throat> so high up. It really is, isn't it? When spend on tippy edge, I'd go dizzy. I wanna push him off. Hey, no. Don't get too close to the edge. If you lose your footing, you can fall. Oh, God. Here is much safer. Strange view when it comes to think about. Clouds look like floaty flop below feet. You're right. I is that the water? This high up before either. Mama, no! <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Don't push him. It's floating much higher up than Frontier Village in Magna Forest. Or even Aerith Sea. Strange, so strange. But why this island is floating higher than even clouds? I think I remember something from an old book. As I recall, the Bionis shoulder was once inhabited by the giants, a highly advanced race. Yeah, and I still don't know anything about the giants. There used to be many islands floating above Erisi, you know. Can I know? Teeny tiny islands floating in sky. Very fantastic view. The giants. They could process and utilize hoverstone, a mineral with floating properties. Oh, that's how it's floating. I see. Actually, you might have it backwards. Maybe they took Hoverstone from here and transported it back to Aerith Sea. Whoa, elementary! Elementary! <laughs> of course, it's best to take all this with a grain of salt. Until now, no Homs, or even Hyentia, have set foot on this continent. That's why the book's author might only be speculating about some aspects. No, no, it makes sense. Can be no mistake in theory of salt. 
Shulk really do know everything. Just like Dad at once said. Oh. Oh no. I'm positive there are things I don't know. Dad at once said, friend Shulk is brainy smart. Know everything. Also brave and cool, and could do anything if he put mind to it. Did, did he really? Oh. Actually, a little embarrassed now. Nothing to be embarrassed about. It's only good thing. He also said, Shulk is number one sidekick of Dedapar. Next in line of awesome. <laughs> I see. Oh, that's so sweet of Ricky. <laughs> good old Ricky. Even though Ricky isn't with us, he has we have his children as his spirit. <laughs> Dude, I love the hair physics on the nopon on both Nene and Kino. Their their hair is their their hair is so fluid. Deca deca qualified certified uncontestified prospector deca deca is name serving Newlands is game. Deca Deca really thought it was curtains for a moment there. Friends snatched life of Deca Deca from Jaws of Death. When Deca Deca finished surveying area, lit monster repellent incense that got from friend. But then monsters appear. It makes no sense. Why on heck monsters not repel? Why attract? <laughs> <laughs> Man, when Deca Deca take whiff, realize is actually monster attracted incense. Friends must have put in by mistake, or this could be a trial that fate posed for Deca Deca to challenge resolve. <laughs> Why on heck? <laughs> Fake call and Deca Deca to fight, defeat monsters by own self. So wait, did his no pawn friends give Deca Deca meat perfume cologne? <laughs> did you guys that's an act know that's an actual thing? In Japan, they had meat cologne. Can you believe it? Fake call and Deca Deca to defeat monsters by own self. Meh meh, only but Deca Deca do nothing. Just call for help by passersby. Disappoint in self. Well, in any case, thank friends for well time rescue. Deca Deca, not forget this kindness. Yeah, you, you better be with us. Meat Colombo, I'm only buying it if it's bacon or gravy scented. I think it's bacon gra uh, scented. The pond specters are on the worst field trip ever. <laughs> oh my god! Yay! They, f they go in a single file line. I'm so proud of them. Oh, that one jumped. That one jumped again. Why are they jumping? Ah, Shulk. Man, aren't you guys gonna get sick? Especially Shulk. Did something catch your eye? Wow. What a view. It's nice to see the capsule like this. Being able to see it from here. It's enough to make me tense up. In all honesty, it's making me consider my position and standing. I see. Oh, is that what my it is, brethren, Omega Man? Who transformed into Telethia back then. Okay, and good, because I thought I was going crazy. And then, my father and brother's expectations. Calling me the hope of the High Entia. I must be an empress worthy of taking on that mantle. But I don't know how. Much as I hate to admit it, I have not been able to find the right answer yet. Melia. How fitting, it's raining. Shulk, you of all people must surely understand. You who secured a future for all of us in that decisive battle. You know, I've been thinking a lot oh, lately. Oh, cue in the music. About what my visions were. Oh? The future that Zanza wanted, that was certainly one of the things I saw. But we fought to deny that future. And in doing so, forged our own path. That's part of it, too. Mm. But now that I can no longer see them, I find myself doubting. Were we... Were we really actually determining our own fate all along? Screw well, gods. 
It's a good question. We have our own fate to desire. You have saved me more times than I can count. That did not come about because of your visions. You used your own judgment, and you chose to act, did you not? And thanks to that, I believe I've grown as an individual as well. Aww. <laughs> I hardly think I said anything funny. I'm sorry. You're right. I want my actions to have meaning too. Not to craft Zanza's future, nor defy him and bend the world to a future of our design, but to give the freedom to choose. To all beings that call this world home. Freedom to choose, huh? What would my father and brother wish for? I wonder. To be free, probably. You need mystic visions to work that out. Mm -hmm. He's right. I just want you to be happy, right? <sighs> mm hmm. <laughs> my gloom is no match for you, Shulk. It's just as you say. To become the hope of the high end here is a fate I choose for myself. Those were the words father imparted to me. There is no need to fear. That is how my brother encouraged me. I've been so impatient and homesick. I nearly forgot those Aww. most important words. I can hear father lecturing me even now, chiding me for my foolishness. I give you my thanks, Shulk. It's nothing. To lack clear-cut answers is hardly a sin, but a sin it would be to cease searching for those answers altogether. For the High Entia who live on in this land, nay, not only the High Entia, for the sake of all the people of this world, that they may decide the future as equals. That is the vision I choose to guide me. Oh, Melia. That is the future I wish for. Yeah. If anyone could make it happen, it's you. But I won't lie to you. The road ahead will be long and arduous. I hope you won't mind me lending a hand. Now she would love that. All, Why ask? Shulk. <laughs> Indeed, it'll be my pleasure. Oh well, that's nice. You can see it when you put Kido, the smallest character model in the party, exactly above a gap in the bridge. Oh really? Okay, let me see. Hand holding in my Christian Minecraft server. Ah <laughs> oh, yes, together. Mm. <laughs> What I really like about Future Connect is that even though Shulk's character arc ended in the main game, he's still trying to prove himself like an actual person would. That's- it's a nice touch. I freaking love it. Wow, it's so destroyed. I mean, what do you expect after being away for a whole year? It's good to be back. Home of Miss Melly needs some weeding. <laughs> need some weeding. Slacking off. Housekeeping. Very true. We'll have our work cut out for us. What is it? Look up there. What, what is, is that? that? Look like hole in sky. That's simply impossible. This world is still in its early days. That could explain the instability. That's oh, it's a rift in time, before. probably. Does that really explain this? It could do. That Fog King creature. Is it from... It's a possibility. In that case... It may well be lurking nearby. Let's stay together and keep a close lookout. King of Fog, not scary to Kino. Kino, how about turn around and toe to face? 
<laughs> I like his face. Gotcha. Little joke there. No, no, big meanie. Aww. Mama? Huh? A child's voice. Where? A child! Where? Let's go save the child. <laughs> <laughs> Can you dub the game in the character's voices as you play? Dub the game? While in the cutscene? Dry, dry! <laughs> is there... Is there a nopon called wet, wet? <laughs> dry, dry. Why does he sound like that? <laughs> Qualified, certified, highly... Extrovertified Pawn Spectre Dry Dry is name surveying new lands is game. <laughs> what brings friends around these parts? Dry Dry secretly follow bird people from far away to near away. And would friends guess it? Dry Dry only go and find bunch of bird people feathers. Dry Dry gasps with emotion. Why? For one simple reason. With feathers, Dragi make winged head hat and become bird person all own self. Or such a plan, or such is plan anyway. For now, Dry Dry still have enough feathers. Upper level and other side, all pick clean. Should be some left on this side, maybe. Meme is dream of Dry Dry to become a bird person. Please, for sake of Dry Dry, bring feathers quickity split. Okay. Well, not just stand there. Flock dry dry some feathers. Rest assured that your issue will be attended to with haste. <laughs> We're in a very important thing in your year. 